Uh, well, this gear is a salvaged gear. It's cast iron. It originally, uh, I, I have reason to believe that it went on like an old tumbler, like maybe like something like that, like an old steel treatment tumbler because they have similar gears. Don't know when it was made. Um, I found it. It was beautiful, and I held on to it for probably a good year, just having it sit in the corner, not knowing what to do with it. Because I knew that it was so cool that all I really needed to do was do the gear justice. And so when I built it, I basically just had to know when to stop, when to stop messing with it, when to stop adding things. I knew I wanted to do something simple for the base. The base is uh, cold rolled steel bars, which have been welded together and it's plated in hard nickel, which is very, very durable plating process. And it's, it's just like regular nickel, but it doesn't have quite the shine, doesn't have quite the, uh, it's more of a flat, but it's just so durable, which is why I like it. And I didn't want to do anything with the base that would take away from the beauty of the top of the cast iron gear. So I just wanted to go with something that would work, something simple. And with the angle of the, uh, the supports, in a way you could kind of say that it has maybe a little bit of motion to it, like some structured motion. But my struggle was basically just coming up with something that wouldn't take away from what the gear is. And the gear is just beautiful, you know, it's a piece of modern industry. It, well, it's not modern anymore, but, you know, it was, uh, it was made by someone, you know, and it was beautiful and you can't find things like that anymore. So that's why I, why I chose to use it and feature it. My whole thing is you just gotta let things be what they are. You don't wanna do things to them to try to disguise them. They're just, they are what they are, you know, it's a gear. You just gotta find a way to make it work. And so this is what I came up with. Some sentimental value on this one too, huh? Yeah, absolutely. This one I think is probably my favorite piece that I've ever made, for sure. And then this is what the, uh, this is what regular like bright nickel will look like right here. It's really shiny like chrome, but it has sort of a yellowish tinge to it. This is chrome, these knobs are chrome right there. It's a little different, it looks more blue. These are chrome down here as well. And then you can see the stainless steel basically looks like a chrome as well, but it's very different from the nickel. And so when this is done, this is gonna be a tripod table. It's gonna have a glass top. Uh, it'll have an adjustable slider with supports that come out and uh, it'll hold up a piece of glass, multi-purpose table. You could use it as a, uh, an end table or a small dining table or one of those taller cocktail tables. But this is kind of a project that I've been working on for a while. Came up with the idea a few years ago and uh, there probably won't be, I won't be building another one of these just because it was just so, so hard to do. I mean, all these blends, I, I did all by hand. I think it's like 80, 90 some pieces of steel that I had to, to fuse together and, and do all the blending on. And With the way things are, uh, I'll, I'll probably come up with an easier way to do it next time. All the fittings are stainless steel. Everything's been plated. It'll be a pretty cool concept when it's done. Sweet.